Well, heart disease is still the world's biggest killer. And one way to avoid heart disease is to eat less sodium. But as we know, sodium is hidden in almost everything that we consume. So here to help us source it out is uh, Sue Ma. Sue, good to have you with us. You've made a little test for me and for everybody at home. I don't know the answers to it, so I'm gonna play along. Excellent, good morning, everyone. So let's get started with the sodium true false quiz. Okay, uh, first question, we need sodium to keep us healthy. I'm gonna say that's true. You're right, it is true. Now we do need sodium to maintain blood pressure and also to maintain the fluid levels in our body. Sodium also helps our muscles and our nerves work properly, but the problem is we're eating too much sodium. And in fact, three out of five Canadians are eating too much sodium. Teenagers, our kids, adults, we're just eating too much. We should aim for about 2,300 milligrams of sodium a day or less but we're probably eating about one and a half times that amount. And you know that over time, eating too much sodium can lead to high blood pressure. Today, according to the Heart and Stroke Foundation, 20% of Canadians already have high blood pressure and another 20% have borderline high blood pressure. So this is a real concern and we really need to try to cut back mm. on the sodium that we're eating. All right, question number two. Sodium is the same as salt. I'm gonna say false. You got it, it's false. Now, sodium and salt are often used interchangeably, but they're not quite the same thing. So sodium is a mineral, it's found naturally in foods and it's also added to foods. Salt, on the other hand, is a combination of sodium plus chloride. Now, salt is probably the main source of sodium in our diet, but we can also get sodium from sodium bicarbonate, which is baking soda, sodium benzoate, for example, which is a preservative, and things like monosodium glutamate, which is a seasoning. So there are different sources of sodium, but salt is the biggest one. Yeah, which is why it makes it so tricky to find the sodium content when we're reading all those labels, because it has a few different names. It hides under. Um, all right, here's a true and false one I had to think about for a little bit. Sea salt okay. is healthier than table salt. I'm mm -hmm. going to say true. Well, the answer is false. And you're right, this one is so oh. tricky. Yeah, well, the difference between sea salt and table salt is really in the taste, the texture, and how they're made. So sea salt is made from evaporated seawater. It has a slightly different taste depending on where it's from. And there are some trace minerals in sea salt, like calcium and iron, but very, very tiny amounts. Table salt is uh, from the ancient dried up salt lakes and it's ground into a, fa a fine crystal. So the texture is a bit uh, finer. Uh, you might think about kosher salt. It's similar to table salt, except that it's a larger crystal. And that pink Himalayan salt, it's not from the Himalayans. Mm -hmm. it's, actually from, it's actually from Pakistan. <laughs> and the pink color is due to the amounts of iron that's added. So keep in mind that whatever salt you prefer to use, because they all taste a little bit differently, use less. And by weight, all of these salts contain about the same amount of sodium. By volume, so if you're taking a teaspoon, by volume, the bigger salts have slightly less because you're getting less of that salt in a teaspoon, right? So look for sodium-free oh. seasonings, lemon juice, citrus, uh, onions, garlic, um, seasoning and herbs. Those can be your seasonings without all of the excess sodium. Oh, Sue, that is so interesting and such good information. I love learning that. All right, next question, true or false? You can tell which foods are high in sodium because it tastes salty. Uh, I'm gonna say that that is false. That is false. You are doing amazing, Anne-Marie. So- You prepared like, me well, Sue. <laughs> I've trained you well. Um, foods like bread and cereal contain sodium, but they don't really taste salty, right? And so sodium is hidden in foods like pasta sauces, entrees, um, salad dressings even. So the key is to read the nutrition facts table. And if you look at this nutrition facts table that I sent along, this is for a package of crackers. And what you wanna look at is the percent daily value. So on the nutrition label, it'll say sodium, it'll give you the amount, and it'll say, for example, here, 6% DV. Now that's good because you want to look for foods that have 15, one five, 15% daily value of sodium or less. And that's going to tell you that it's a better choice for you. Oh, Sue, I love when you give me the numbers because now it makes it so simple, so clear. So 15 or less DV for the daily value for sodium. That's what we're looking for. Yes, for awesome. sure. Okay. 
See, the next time you give me this quiz, I'm going to get 100%. All right, last <laughs> one, uh, true or false. Most of the sodium that we eat comes from our salt shaker. And I think you've already given us the answer to this. This is false. The answer is false. You're right. So about 11% of the sodium we eat comes from the salt shaker. About 80% comes from the processed foods. Um, and the rest comes from the sodium. 80%? Actually, about 80% from packaged and processed foods. And the rest wow. comes from the sodium that's found naturally in food. Now, the top six sources of sodium in our diet, bread. Not because it's salty, but because we need sodium and salt to make bread. You know, if you made bread during the COVID, <laughs> you'll know that you have to add salt. Entrees, those frozen entrees, um, frozen pizzas, that sort of thing, contain quite a bit of sodium. Uh, processed meats and cheese, sodium is actually added to help prevent bacteria from growing. So it's a functional role of sodium, but it actually increases the sodium content of the food. And then things like condiments and sauces and soups also contain sodium. So try to choose more fruits and vegetables because they're sodium free and use less of these seasonings when you can. And uh, if you do want to eat out or you're taking food out from the restaurant, try to ask for the sauces and the salad dressings and all that gravy on the side so you can control the amount of sodium that you're eating. Sue, you always make it so easy for us to make the right choices with great information. Thank you so much for this today. You're so welcome. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.